All right, there we go. Um, all right, everybody. Um, remember, uh, I put that uh, post on the uh, guitar forums and stuff. Um, I ordered that, uh, you know, that that kind of cheesy kind of Chinese kind of delay pedal. You know, ordered it off Amazon, you know, like $28 or something. Um, well, here it is on the left. Um, and, uh, yeah, obviously it it doesn't look like the picture from Amazon. Apparently the company called Kayleen updated their pedal, so now it's blue. It's called the Blue Ocean. Um, kind of a clone or a copyright or whatever of that mad professor you know deep blue but anyway here it is you know sorry for the glare from the you know you know the ceiling light over here on the on the on the right um just for you know whatever um is my my little homemade kind of what do they call that build your own clone that's my uh, my Ibanez Tube Screamer. And I uh, just want to show it to you. This is what they are. Um, and, yeah, I've already... There we go. I've already kind of taken this apart. I, you know, I just took, took the back off it. And, yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's computer-made, or however they want to call that. You know what I mean? With all the, you know... Um, automatic you know soldering and uh, computer processed or whatever you know there's no hand wiring or anything this was all machine made or something you know I, yeah I already took the back off it and I'm like okay fine um, but you know I don't want to do that it's just it's just stuff you can't really see anything in there this on the other hand let me I already took there's the screws see there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. This was handmade very carefully by me. You know, from build your own clone. You know, put the capacitors here, put the resistors there, the diodes, you know, and you just, you, just, you know, what's that funny saying? Insert tab A into slot B, you know, and you slowly build your own pedal. So... Without further rambling and stuff, let's uh, let's go plug these in, and uh, we'll give you a little demonstration of what uh, what this deep blue or the, you know this blue ocean pedal what it sounds like. So, all right, let's let's uh, duh, let's uh, turn this off. All right, there. All right, now let's show you. Um, let's see. Is you're looking at my little homemade pedal board that I still haven't quite completed yet. <laughs> and uh, the front of my uh, Fender Frontman 65 solid state amp. Over, way over on the far left is uh, that little cardboard box that the, the pedal came in, you know, for shipping. And that's not really an owner's manual or s instructions. I'm like, really? It's just like a sales ad for other pedals made by this Kayleen company. I'm like, Pfft, whatever. So, and up in the front, I don't know if you can see it. Um, not plugged in over there. It's disconnected. Way up here, right up there. Um, that was another pedal that I built. Um, that BYOC made it. Um, it's just a real simple thing called Confidence Boost. Just a simple kit with a volume knob, you know, or actually it was a trim pot, and then I built it into a pedal enclosure. Kind of acts like an MXR micro amp, just a boost. But in my case, what I used to do is use it as like a reverse boost to tame the volume on this, you know, Fender front man, you know. Anyway, all right, let's have some fun, um, like this. <laughs> Adjust your volume, sorry. But uh, here you go. Let's play the Gretsch uh, 5122 clean channel with nothing. Like that. Now, let's add uh, the pedal. There you go. I 
right uh, the volume is on uh, 12 o'clock noon the repeats are on 12 o'clock noon and the delay is at about you know nine o'clock which we get okay so kind of gives it like a, a serious reverb effect Let's change this. We'll kick the delay up to noon, take the repeats all the way down, like that. There, now we should have like a rockabilly kind of thing. Yeah. Slap back echo, here you go. Maybe a little too much. Alright, we'll back the delay off. Maybe put it even with the, uh, you know, the LED light. Nah, a little more. About that. That seems bright. Let's do this. Let's get completely insane. Take the delay, we'll max it all the way. Take the repeats, we'll put that at noon. I have no idea what this is going to do. <laughs> oh lord, let's get nuts. Does this do that self oscillation or whatever they call it? Let's take the repeats and bump it all the way up. Weird. What the hell? Well, what the hell was that? <laughs> that didn't. What the hell was that effect? It almost started like going into feedback or something. Alright, enough of that. Jesus. Alright. Now let's do this. Um, Alright, the slapback echo. Let, let's put that BYOC. Um, oh, you know. The Ibanez Tube Screamer clone that I built. There. Let's see what we get. Uh, Same uh, kind of, same kind of tone, just just a little more grit. channel or you know channel switch we'll put on some screaming distortion even though I got a Gretsch hollow body 5122 oh lord <laughs> wonder what the delay pedal will sound like with a channel switch <laughs> sounded like garbage. I don't know, I'd have to maybe take that delay pedal and put it in here like in a, through an effects loop. But uh, there you have it. I just wanted to 
kind of play around, show you, you know, that pedal. You know, not bad for, uh, like I say, you know, 28 bucks, what the hell. Um, you know, and it, uh, it works. It doesn't have a problem. Um, built out of, you know, solid steel, you know. Um, you know, nothing wrong with it. So I figured, oh, okay. I may tinker with it some more over the weekend, you know, but right now I just wanted to make this little video and show you that's what it is, you know. So, alright, have fun, take care, and see you around. Alrighty.